Hello and welcome to Aviation 101 with Laura. Today we're going to play the alternate game 2.0. If you've never played the alternate game 1, go watch that video, but then you can come back and play along with alternate game 2. So um, before I get into that, I just want to thank you guys for all the support and the kind comments, mostly kind, on my channel and tell you that there's a new way you can even support my work as a content creator. I don't get a whole lot of money from YouTube ad revenue, to be perfectly frank. I get some, which is nice. But if you really want to support our channel, check this out. I just launched my new channel merch store. I'm even wearing one of my new shirts. Check it out. And so these are awesome for pilots, but I have a bunch of merch also geared toward dispatchers. And there's one of my favorite designs, uh, which has actually got a few orders. So if you want to support this channel, check out my channel merch because I get the ad revenue from YouTube, but YouTube's taking big cut from the ad revenue. If you shop my store, I actually, I get the proceeds and not YouTube. So check it out. I would love for you guys to check that out. All right. On to playing the alternate game. So let's play the alternate game. We have to look at first 14 CFR 91169. So I always recommend having a far aim book, it, whether it's you know this one. Uh, you can we can also look at 121 rules. Um, this one's great for the far FC for flight crew. I highly recommend this. But either of these rules, if I take a look at 91.169, paragraph 2, and then I, it says that you do not need an alternate airport if weather reports, weather forecasts, or a combination thereof say that we have for at least one hour before an hour, one hour after the estimated time of arrival at the destination airport, the ceiling there at the destination will be at least 2,000 feet above airport elevation and visibility and visibility at least three statue miles. So that is when you do not need an alternate. Okay, don't skip past paragraph one, which actually says like you always need an alternate if you are going to an airport that does not have an instrument approach. Okay, so I kind of skipped over that. Sorry about that, but that is also key. So if your destination does in fact have an instrument approach, then we get to look at paragraph two and then I and look at the actual weather. Okay. Now for 121 rules, which a lot of my viewers are into 121 rules, this applies for domestic operations. If you have no idea what that is, I will post a video in the, con in the description saying the differences between domestic flag and supplemental. But for a domestic operation, in the very general terms, that's within the United States, the 48 contiguous United States, then you always need an alternate, except if the ceiling is going to be at least 2,000 feet above airport elevation and visibility at least three miles, plus or minus an hour. That is what it says right here. If you look at A and then one and then two, okay. It again, it says appropriate weather reports, forecasts, or any combination of them. So most airlines are going to take this to mean the TAF and the METAR. Okay. It goes a little step farther and says in paragraph uh, C, well, B actually refers to the alternate weather at your alternate airport. Then C is like the dispatcher has to list it on the release. Okay. So, you know, why are we talking about all this? Well, for one, um, you need to know it for operational reasons. For number two, if you're studying for instrument knowledge test and instrument practical test, I do highly recommend the ASA book series. Um, you can check out the affiliate links i have posting for all of these different resources. But when you are studying this and in real life, you need to know if I look at a TAF, do, do I need an alternate? Okay. So time to play the game. Sorry, that was like five minute intro of how to play the game. So let's play the alternate game. I pulled out some TAFs the other day. The weather was bad in the Northeast. So I pulled out some awesome looking TAFs and we're just going to play the game. If we are arriving in Boston at 0100 Zulu on the 14th, do I need an alternate or do I not need an alternate? So, um, and if you have no idea how to read this TAF, 
please pause the video and go watch my series on TAFs. I will link to that. I've got a whole series about that. But if you know how to read a TAF, let's proceed with the game. Okay. So if we are arriving at 0100 on the 14th, that would put me in the um, first line of this TAF. Okay. People always forget this is an unwritten from at the beginning, but it starts on the 13th at 1800. Okay. And it goes to my next line. So we got the 14th at 0500. Okay. So if we are at 0100, we are squarely in line number top of the TAF, line number one, if you will. And we have one mile visibility, okay, and overcast clouds at 800. Well then, if we are operating 91 or 121 domestic, same rules essentially apply. And we can see that very clearly we do not have three miles visibility, nor do we have a 2,000 foot ceiling. So I need an alternate. Okay, let's go on. All right, let's try 1530 on the 14th. Okay, so 1530 on the 14th. I'll give you a little time to think about it. We're on this line of the forecast right here. Okay, because we are 14th, 1400, and we're not to 1800 yet. So, all right. Now, I also always look at an hour before to an hour after. So make sure you're looking basically in a window from 1430 to 1630. But if we're looking at this specific forecast, then, well, it all falls in this line here at 1400, because 1430 to 1630, plus or minus an hour, puts me there. And by now, you guys have probably figured it out. We need an alternate because of the ceiling. The ceiling as overcast 900. We do have at least three miles visibility, but we have that lower ceiling of 900 feet. So we do, in fact, need an alternate. Okay, what about an ETA of 1930? Okay, 1930. Again, let's look at an hour before to an hour after. So that would be 1830 to 2030. And that would put me, once again, in this next line. So starting at 1800, okay, we have five miles visibility. So we checked the visibility. We got at least three, but you guys have probably already seen, oh yes, we have a ceiling of only 1000 feet. So we need an alternate at 1930 on the 14th. Still need an alternate. All right, so let's move on. I'm going to get more tricky, I promise. All right, so at 2245, still on the 14th, do we need an alternate? Okay, so again, I want to look an hour before, so that's 2145, to 2345. That's an hour after, okay? If you just look at only this line, which starts at 2200, you would miss the fact that really, we have to look an hour before to an hour after. So that actually still puts us in my 1800 line, meaning we still need an alternate at 2245 because 2145 touches the overcast ceiling at 1000 feet. So don't let me trick you this falls in the previous line of the TAF. I'm not going to dispute that it looks great starting at 2200. We actually meet the ceiling and the visibility, but because we have the plus or minus an hour, that is why. So we still need an alternate at 2245. All right. One more for this TAF, 2300. 2300 on the 14th. Now, I will say we're almost running out of time on the TAF because on the this TAF goes through, this is a 30-hour TAF. They issue these at larger international airports. This TAF goes through the 14th at 2400. So at 2300, I'm almost out of time on my TAF on the 14th, but I still fall squarely in. So this line here. So you do not need an alternate uh, at 2300 arrival time on the 14th. I look back an hour I'm still in that greater than six statue miles broken at 3,000, which checks my 2,000 foot and three statute mile requirements, plus or minus an hour. Yay. So I had one time on this entire TAF that I did not, in fact, need an alternate. Cool. All right. Bet you guys are not totally done with my alternate game because we have to look at another airport. Let's look at Reagan, DCA. The same day, again, TAF was, TAF was, uh, crazy up in the northwest for a few of these times. Pretty gusty winds, rain, low visibility. Must have been miserable. But all right. 
So let's play the game here. I, I kept 91 up here, but again, 121 is essentially the same if it's 121 domestic. All right, what about at 1815 on the 13th? Okay, so that is going to put me in this first line of the TAF. Okay, so we've got visibility of six statue miles. We've got broken clouds at 2,000, overcast clouds at 3,000. The ceiling is defined as the lowest layer of broken or overcast or visibility into a vertical visibility, if you see one of those. So if you, if you just looked at this, yes, you would see that we do not actually need an alternate. We have a ceiling of 2,000, exactly, but that's okay. And we have visibility of at least three miles. Um, I can't really go minus an hour because it'd be before this staff was even issued. But even if I go plus an hour to 1915, I am still in this top line of the forecast. The next line doesn't start until 2300. So here we do not need an alternate. So check no alternate on this one. All right. So let's move on to another arrival time. All right. What if I said 1230 on the 14th? Okay, we're moving on down in this TAF, 12.30 on the 14th. So really we're looking at 11.30 Z to 13.30 Z. Okay, and so we touch two lines of this because um, we have to go with this line. It starts at 14th at 0400 and it goes all, and we have to also look at this line, 13.30, because I'm looking after for an hour. But you can probably already tell if I look at this, I do have the visibility. I have at least three, but I have a ceiling of overcast at 1000 feet. So I do need an alternate at 1230Z because of the ceiling. That one was kind of obvious. I don't feel like I was being really tricky. All right. What about at 1315? So if you were paying attention to the Boston forecast and the looking back an hour, Let's be careful again. We got to look back to 1215 and forward to 1415. All right. So be careful with this because once again, if I just looked at this line, I might think it was okay and I didn't need an alternate. But because we have the 1215, this still falls as the overcast at 1500. So at 1315, we do still need an alternate because we have to look at the ETA plus or minus one hour. All right, now let's look at 1415 on the 14th. Okay, so 1415, that falls squarely in my line at 1300, right? Because 1315 to 1515, all of that would fall right here. And so then we have greater than six statue mile visibility and broken at 2500. So I do not need an alternate. Yay, no alternate needed. Cool, okay. How about at 2215? Okay, at 2215 on the 14th, I wanna be careful of saying, we gotta look at the dates, especially with these long forecast periods, like this is the 30 hour TAF. Okay, but 2215 on the 14th, I fall squarely in this line here because it starts on the 14th at 2000 and it goes all the way through 24, well, 0000 on the 15th or 2400 on the 14th, however you want to say that. But we have greater than six miles broken at 3500. So we check the 2000 foot ceiling and we have three sat two miles visibility. So no alternate needed there. All right, and just because I'm devious, I just want to throw in one more for you guys. 2215 on the 13th. Remember I said it's important to look at the dates. So 2215 on the 13th. There, do we need an alternate? Okay, so let's take a look at, we're going to look back at 2115 to 2315. Okay, so here you got to be very careful. 2115. Okay, that would fall in this line here at the beginning, which is where we said we didn't need alternate because we have six miles and broken at 2000. But, but don't forget about the plus an hour. So 2315, we got six miles visibility. 
on the 13th. This is 2313. But notice my ceiling is 1500 broken clouds at 1500. So on the 13th at 2215, we do actually need an alternate. Good thing I can't draw on the slide, right? Okay, so we do in fact need an alternate. So don't get fooled by that. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed playing the alternate game with me. Again, check out my merch. Honestly, I'd love to see people supporting the channel with that. And also it does have my logo on the sleeve. Yay. So you can tell your other friends who are into aviation training. And I hope you guys have a fantastic day playing alternate game. Play it with your friends. Play it with your enemies. Play it with your frenemies. Have a good day.